Hello YouTube, this is the Creative Duelist here representing Team FTK and I've been making decks creative since 2016. Welcome folks. Now of course I'm kind of getting over my sore throat. Got a, a, lozer, a lozenger in my mouth so hopefully that doesn't affect the way I speak. So today of course I have Cosmos. I have Cosmo with a bit of True Kings in there. Uh, kind of a spicy onion but see how it goes. Also before I start this video as well just a quick few reminders please check out our uh, patreon link is in the description check out those tiers pick one that suits you the most and of course it helps us get equipment and of course afford the cards for our decks also if you cannot do patreon we have a paypal please check out pay our paypal link in the description tip us we appreciate tips also goes um towards our content uh, really really do appreciate tips and last but not least, we are sponsored by Inked Gaming. So make sure you go and check out Inked Gaming. And when you purchase from Inked Gaming, make sure you punch the promo code uh, TEAMFTK10. I repeat, TEAMFTK10 for your 10% discount on anything you purchase from, um, <coughs> excuse me, from Inked Gaming. Inked Gaming sells a wide variety of items, mats, keyboards, mouses, etc. and also dices, I think. But yes, folks, that's pretty much it for the announcement. I'm going to go ahead and get straight on with the deck profile. So let's begin. Starting off with the monsters, I'm going to start with the Cosmo lineup. I've got Triple Dark Destroyer, very standard. Dark Destroyer is really good at 3. Now that we have Triple Dark Destroyer, like... Dark Destroyer is such a great card in this, in this deck. I love Dark Destroyer. One of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, just to let you know, all of the uh, higher, like all of the ships, except for like the lesser ones that are like level 5 and 6, they all, like the higher ones, like level 7 to 9 to 10, I think, they all have the inherent protection from being targeted by card effects, which is so strong. And what Dark Destroyer does is when he's normal or special summoned, you get to blow up uh, a you get to blow up a monster on the field. Um, you can blow himself up as well. You can there's just like this uh, OTK you can do. Uh, you know, get two manage to get two Dark Destroyers out. I can't remember how it goes, but it was very prevalent back when Dark Destroyer was a big problem and when Cosmos were top tier. But still, also one more thing. Uh, all the cosmos except for the pilots um, have the effect where if they're destroyed um, and sent to the graveyard you can banish them from you can banish it from the graveyard and of course special summon a cosmo monster from the deck that's uh you know that's a that's a level lower than its original so you can float down into the pilots or into another ship so with dark destroyer his level eight so you can just uh, when he's when he's destroyed you just go ahead and you can bring out um, a level seven or lower dot Cosmo monster. So you can either bring you can bring out Tin Tin Can Wind Can. You can bring out uh, Forerunner, uh, Wicked Witch, anything you like. Just letting you folks know that uh, as I progress through the deck profile. So triple Dark Destroyer. You got to play three of it. And of course, got the one Dark Dark Eclipser. This one's interesting. Um, when Dark Eclipser, I think he's an exception. When he's destroyed, he doesn't float down. He helps you search um, for a Cosmo monster, so you can preferably use Search Dark Destroyer. Um, so Eclipse is okay in that aspect, and Eclipse negates traps by banishing a Cosmo monster from your graveyard. So he's really good against generic decks that play a lot of traps. Uh, going now, continuing on, I've got the double uh, Forerunner. Forerunner is pretty decent um, during your standby phase. He gives you a thousand life points really good because in this deck you you're going to be paying a shit ton of life points so forerunner helps to make up for that uh for the losses of uh, the life point cost you that you will be paying throughout the door i've got the triple slip rider uh, i used to play two but i play three because i do have a little bit of a mini uh like true king engine so i want to blow up my ships and i want to blow up them like have more targets to blow up. Uh, I might bunk Th Thor and uh, four and to three, and cut this down to two. Sometimes Slippy isn't super great, especially against decks that don't play back row. But 
Slippy's interesting in its own right. Now for the pilots, of course, got triple Cosmo Tin Can Win Can. Like if you open up Tin Can, you should win, man. <laughs> cool puns and cool rhymes, of course. Pretty much during during the end phase, so I think you can do is do this during your opponent's turn or their, their end phase. You can search for up to three. Uh, yeah, you search three Cosmo cards. Reveal them to your opponent, and your opponent picks one at random. They don't see, of course, and whatever that whatever they select goes to your hand. The rest go to grave. So, Tin Can helps with getting the ships to grave, especially if you're playing Call of the Haunted. Call of the Haunted works really well in this deck, and of course, it helps to get the ships in your grave. So, of course, there's there's been variants like Cos like Cosmo Tin Can Turbo and all that nonsense. Now, of course, got the double. A Cosmo Strawman. Strawman's pretty cool. Um, you can activate its effect to, of course, target a target a Cosmo monster in your banish zone um, by paying 500 life points, and you special summon that Cosmo monster on your field. But its effects negated. That is pretty good, especially when you're bringing out like you're preferably going to use the effect to bring out uh, a, a bigger fat ship. So like you're going to bring out like Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Or forerunner because you know it's a free it's basically it's a free blue eyes white dragon on the turn so you can attack for 3k if opponent's got nothing um uh, straw man will pop the ship because that end phase after you bring it up with that effect you blow up the ship and of course you plus because they activate engrave so you'll get more mileage uh, off the off the ship you bring out and that was destroyed it's pretty cool and also one more thing i almost for, almost forgot to mention all of the pilots, they all have the universal effect where you can, during the player's turn, you can banish them from the field to special summon a Cosmo monster that's higher than its level, um, which is pretty cool. So in this instance, Tin Can, you can bring out a level 2 or higher Cosmo monster, and in this case, Straw Man, you bring out level 3 or higher, so and vice versa. Um, and of course, for the uh, short-term uh, abbreviation, or the slang word we like to use, we call it tag out, so we usually tag them. Very cool. Um, very good in certain situations. Uh, that's why I do like the pilots. And of course, continuing on, got the one Dark Lady. She's pretty much, uh, you can negate an a monster effect by paying a thousand life points and negate the activation and destroy the monster. Pretty cool. It's pretty decent in that own right. So it's like kind of like a Divine Wrath. One Wicked Witch. Standard you can pay a thousand life points. She can't die by battle of card effects that turn and of course you can you know You can tag him Of course the one uh, sort trooper just to bring back, you know any like if if you got like a like a, a Like a farm girl in grave or a straw man in grave um, You can just bring it back how you can you, you can bring back any of the psychic Cosmo monsters so you can bring any of these that are Kind of just left in the in the graveyard. So Sork Trooper is really good in that aspect. And of course, speak of uh, the beautiful lady herself. One uh, farm girl. I don't recommend playing two, in my opinion, because uh, it's kind of bricky, and uh, you're not always going to get the effect where you attack and you activate the effect to pay life points to search for a Cosmo monster. So. Um, that's why I just play one farm girl. I'm not always guaranteed to get it off. So one is enough Can't believe do you remember when this card was like 60 bucks well, like in, in the UK it was like 70 quid fucking expensive and that's gonna round up the Cosmo lineup uh, Pretty much just gonna go through the rest of the deck the true king engine I only play these I've, I can't find the water one anywhere in my room I've only got access to these but these work just fine. You can play more it's up to you. That's the ratio that works for me. So that's going to round up the whole monster lineup, folks. Going on to the spell lineup. Got triple Cosmo Town, pretty standard. Uh, shuffle, you can mulligan, shuffle back Cosmo monsters uh, back into your deck and draw cards equal to the amount you just uh, shuffle back. And it's really cool because you can pay life points depending on the, the monster's level of the Cosmo monster that's banished and add it back to your hand. So I love Cosmo Town. And if Cosmo Town is destroyed, uh, from the field that uh, is destroyed in your field zone and by a card effect since the graveyard you get to search for any cosmo card like it's such a good card i love cosmo town 
you know I'm not afraid to play it and I, I do apologize for the proxy uh, this is uh, of course the draconic diagram just there of course uh, really good to blow up our ships I want terraforming to search the field spells I want Eteli one gold sark, one reasoning, regeki, dark hole, and pretty much for the traps, very small trap lineup, um, double uh, triple core, um, double cosmojo, and one full force virus. I can't find my epidemics anywhere. If you folks want to play triple epidemic, go ahead. It fucks your opponent over. Um, these are just a couple like full force. Uh, isn't as great in my opinion it depends on what depends on your matchups but epidemic is much better because you call spells you scramble your opponent over so that's going to round up the whole now the intro deck folks literally just play this now you can play more options you play more links it's just you know there isn't going to be like the deck the main deck puts in so much work you really don't even need the extra deck this is just there if you get the cheeky you know, two slippies and slaps slap those over slippy and make the infinity uh, package. But literally, the main deck puts in so much work. The ships do the damage. The ships do the talking. But yes, folks, that's going to round up the whole main deck, extra deck, and the whole profile. So thank you all for watching. If you folks enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. Comment down below. Feedback is always nice to hear. Time your thoughts down in the comment section. If you folks would like to give me any suggestions on what I should play, please feel free to. And of course, make sure you check out those links down below. Check out Inked Gaming. Check out pay. Check out our uh, Patreon, PayPal. Support us the best you can. BS, folks. This this is the Creative Duelist representing Team FTK. Signing out. Peace.